accidentally caught. They sent an influencer proposal to a Trump supporter, and now we got it. About a week ago, I received this email. What they were asking for is $1,500 for anti-Trump content on TikTok. So they basically sent me this kind of like creator brief with all the asks that they have and everything and like do's and don'ts like don't show any form of support for Donald Trump and his allies. Gloat about Harris and her allies. Attack Trump supporters for their intellectual or personal values. This is actually a campaign with Future Forward. Whoops. <laughs> this is the campaign claim of it. They have all the authenticity, but they're paying people to say nice things about them and bad things about Donald Trump. And sometimes not even with the disclosure that they're being paid. And it's not just him. Others are coming forward, too. Sunday, who met us in Houston, was one of a few dozen influencers invited to the White House to watch the State of the Union and meet President Biden. He said to us, the collective presence in this room has more viewership um, on Gen Z than all of traditional media combined. Now, Democratic organizations are flooding the creator community with cash and providing behind-the-scenes access. Come with me to meet the President of the United States. The Harris campaign does not pay influencers directly. CBS News found a constellation of other Democratic political organizations that do. Hmm. In addition to paying them, the DNC and other super PACs are offering them these backstage passes and exclusive access to woo these social media influencers to promoting Kamala Harris on their platform. Super authentic, guys. Great job. This is their strategy. Remember, two weeks ago, I told you about Democrats that are running PSYOPs campaigns that, we, that our military runs in other countries. This is a PSYOPs campaign. The world is getting more and more of their news through social media and from people like this. And just to show you how effective this is, Pew Research did a study that said last year 32% of people, 18 to 29 years old, get their news from TikTok. Even more get it from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and a lot more get their information from podcasts and these new live streaming things like Kai Sinat or Sanat, the tens they have tens of millions of followers. He just released a live stream about how the Secret Service, the Secret Service is contacting him for collaboration with Kamala. What the hell is the Secret Service calling influencers for? They're a government entity tasked with protection, not PR. They're running a PSYOPs campaign on America. I mean, color me surprised that the same people trying to influence you on Kamala are the same ones that released this video three years ago. What did I, I do not underestimate these people and the lengths they will go to to make someone or something that doesn't do any of the things they say it does seem palatable.